Hey guys, this is Get Some More, and we're relaxing at the beach. Well, and welcome back to some more Tales of Asperia. In the last episode, we had more scenes, but now we're a guild. We're Brave Asperia. Well, we were the super ultra courageous Braves, but you know that title only rolls off the tongue like Tourette's, so it's not that good. Oh crap! I oh I thought I walked to a dead end. That would have sucked. Aw, Stormy, nice. Stormy. Nice. It's day and night. What, what? Cause it's day and night. What, what? Okay, enough fun with that. Let's go to Heliord. Uh, wherever the hell the entrance is. Oh, it's over there. Oh my, doesn't this city seem less busy than before? Yep, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. You don't think that rumors are true, do you? You mean that people have been suddenly disappearing? Maybe it's not just a rumor after all. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the blast here, too. Yep, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? Well, we can, but I don't know if we should. So then, let's go to the inn! Hooray! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the inn. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Haha, <laughs> aye aye, Captain. That was kind of weird how they um set that text box and almost cut off on the screen when they could have made it longer, but whatever. I'm not going to judge it just because it was more square than rectangular, but whatever. Yeah, let's go to the inn. And I think um stuff's changed. Maybe we can buy some new items. What's next? Stock. Pass the sword. Chain whip. Hooray! Well, actually, I'm gonna save right here because um, there's a part coming up that we have a choice of who we want to pick, and I'll probably show all three. Just record them separately. You know what I mean? All right. Um, let's also check out the items. Oh, not another fucking axe! Oh god. Uh, guard arts is pretty good though. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, God damn it. Ha an ore. Rodmaster. <laughs> Rodmaster. Well, we need one of each anyways. I'm not putting on that axe yet because we're still using the blue dragon, but fuck axes. I hate them so much. And we have an upgrade for Yuri. Hmm. Not an upgrade. Equipped. Not an upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, I have two of those. Holy crap. Fine boots. Thieves cape. Magic mist. Meh. Do I need any fruit in that? Mm, no, I'm pretty good on that. Alright, well, let's synthesize. Anything good? Ew, I can synthesize pineapple gels. Gross. Fuck your pineapples. Tales of Creed, I know you're watching, so fuck pineapples. Cantaloupe's better. 
If it was a cantaloupe gel, it would full heal everything to every party member and increase your attack by a thousand. And you would just rape face. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. And I can make a lot of miracle gels. Problem is, Carol keeps using my fucking miracle gels! Urgh. Hmm. I'm wondering, I could, I could craft a bunch, but that's expensive. I'm not gonna bother. This is just wasting time, I know, but meh. <laughs> I can craft limit bo or magic lenses, but they're so cheap. Why would I bother doing that? All right. See any weapons I want? Nope. Well, I could get that. I'm not too interested in that. I can get that any time in the game. Caroline's sword. It's like what he had at the beginning game, but not broke. Speedy charge, good. So I want that. But did he learn all the skills off the Caroline hammer? I just need to check that out real quick. Caroline hammer. Oh, it doesn't have any skills. Oh, that's right, yeah. Well, we're buying that then. We're synthesizing it. Caroline sword. Click. We got the EP plus one. Um, I'll come back for that. Blue dragon plus one, though. Hell yeah, step combo. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna get this, because obviously it's better in attack and everything, so hooray! Can you use equipment and raw material? Yes. We have the battle sword plus one. Do we even have the regular battle sword? Mm, oh, we have to if we can equip it, so why not just get it? Meh. And stock plus one. Might as well get that too. Yeah, we're doing a lot of um, synthesizing. I'm just showing it off because, well, I haven't shown off anything in a while. I've cutting up battles and that. So I gotta, I gotta show something. Do I want life up or mental up? Honestly, I want both, but I can't make both. Hey, we have a new sword, Ogre Sword. Yay, avoid entering a battle from a Lincoln counter. That's... I don't think I'll ever use that. Fatal Finish is nice, though. Oh, well, we gotta get this sword, though. Yay. It looks pretty badass, actually. Probably had to do a grinding fest to get all these skills. There's a shit ton. Oh, wow, we can already get this plus one, and we just bought it. Meh, might as well. I have a shit ton of mats for synthesizing. Hmm. Anything else I can make? There's a lot of stuff you can synthesize in this game. You can pretty much go this whole game without having to buy any equipment except for like certain points in the game. You can just craft stuff and you're good to go. Well, let's give him the Karama plus one. Because everything else doesn't want to quick for him. And let's see for small stuff. We'll need a kite shield. Oh no, she already learned that stuff. Alright, well, we don't need that. We have a round shield. Uh, do we have a hydronomos? I think we do. And, okay, we have nothing new there. How about this? I can make two pointed hats. Hooray if you're not buying them. See, you can go this game without having to make any. Oh, cool, we can get Carol the pirate hat. Ahoy, matey! Anything else we can make that I want? We can make Carol a battle suit. Mm, might as well. Battle guard. I already have one of those. Alright, well, right now we can make the Limit Trio! Hooray! Sorry, I was kind of quiet for a moment when I was just looking over stuff, but now we have another Over Limit, up to level 3. And we can make a white half a year. We already have the black hat, so we'll just make it anyways, honestly. We have the mats. And, oh, we don't have sunglasses. I'd like to make those, but, well, we just need shells. We can't make the Sacred Rope, because, well, um... We used all the eight man cope. That was for Rita, but whatever. And we're kind of done for now. I'm gonna equip this stuff, and I'll see you in a moment because this will just take even longer. All right. Well, at this point, we have a, a shit ton of skills to learn. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna actually save it again now, just because that killed a lot of time. Haha, <laughs> Yuri's dead. Sorry. When you fight the last boss under level, you get your ass kicked, especially on hard. So let's stay in the end. Sure.
Does anyone know what a blanket is? Come on. I guess I can't let things go either. Well, since Judith left, let's go take a look. Big surprise there, honestly. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, another night shift. I got past the anger and just completely gave up. Haha, ah, your job sucks. Although I've done night shifts, they're not fun. Oh, wait, I know what I want to do. Just leave town, and I think that's what it does. Yeah, there she is. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place, then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Well, shall we have a look around town? We also need to have a look at the blast here that went berserk last time. Yes, we do, and well, I forgot. This is the point where I should have saved like an idiot. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment, too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. Aw, somebody's excited. Have fun. Well, now I'm actually gonna save. It's like the third time I said I'm gonna frickin' save the damn game. Even then, there's probably another point I could save better, but, oh, God. Hey, look, it's raining. Why does it always rain here? It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Mrs. Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where is your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. 
Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Q Moore gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Oh, figures it'd be that fruitcake Q Moore. God damn it. Q Moore? From the Imperial Knights? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is Father not coming back? Hey, Yuri! You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well... Okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. And if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! Who wants to be careful in this day and age? Screw that, let's go in.